Salisbury steak meaty balls. It's what's for dinner. Follow me along, guys. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. So I have almost four pounds of Hamburg here, and I'm too lazy to go down and get another envelope of onion soup mix, so we're just going to use that one. I got five eggs, I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to follow this recipe very loosely. This is my normal meatloaf and meatball recipe from Patelli's. Um, it was on the back of their package. And I buy their meat lo meatloaf meatball mix, and it's like a mixture of beef, pork, and veal. It's, I love it. It's the only one I usually make for meatballs and meatloaf. But I'm too lazy. I've been running around all day. So um, I put five eggs, uh, pepper. Let me grab the pepper. And then it says three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs. So, uh, these are my homemade breadcrumbs. Three quarters of a cup times three. Okay. That's one, three quarters. Two. Oh, and I'll just use the rest. Woohoo! Empty the jar, guys. Empty the jar. And then two thirds cup of milk. I have been out all day since this morning. I went and got some gift cards. I went all the way to Walmart to get gift cards for Christmas, you know. Everybody on my list. And. I had like $700 worth of gift cards I was trying to buy, and I had all cash. They wouldn't sell me any. I bought three Walmart ones for $25 each, and after that, they said you have to take them up to the service desk. So I'm like, okay. So I brought them all up to the service desk, and she's, the, the machine, the register wouldn't let me buy them. They stop it due to fraud after a certain amount. She said you can get two, so I'm like, all right, I picked two. I couldn't even get those two. I couldn't even get those two. So I was like, okay. I went next door to Stop and Shop. I bought $700 worth of gift cards. Not a problem. So Walmart's got issues. Serious issues. They just lost $700. Yep. Yes, they did. That's all right, though. Their yeah, loss. One more reason to try to avoid shopping there, honestly. If you can avoid it, guys, avoid it. They're getting more ridiculous every day. All right, so I added the milk, which was three sets of two-thirds cup milk. Um, an onion. <laughs> Be right back. All right, so... I was going to roll all these into meatballs, but I know that that's like a lot. So I'm going to do one tray of meatballs, and I'm going to do one of my meatloafs. And then I'll have a jump on a dinner, because I'll just make the meatloaf and I can freeze it for another time. Because I have steaks out for tomorrow night. So... Save this meatloaf. Four. Because we only needed a, I think it was like a pound of, uh, she looks like she only made like one pound of beef for the meatballs in the video. 
And I got that video uh, recipe from Large Family Love on YouTube, so I'll put a link in my description box to the original video. They looked really good. So, here we go. This is going to go in the oven for an hour and a half. I'll put it in for a little bit and then I'm going to throw some ketchup and ketchup mixture on top, some ketchup barbecue sauce mixture. So, get that in the oven and get that one started. Alright, so I just took some brown sugar and ketchup and mixed it together. And I'm going to slap it over the meatloaf. It was in for an hour and a half. But I'm going to shove it in for just a little bit longer after I cover it with this sauce. So I'm going to put that back in the oven for just a few minutes, not very long. The meatballs, I, they got black on the bottom. I didn't check them and I was busy doing something and got sidetracked. So they're still going to be good though. Um, I'm going to try one right now. Let me grab my cutting board. Take the smaller one off there. Let's see here. As long as that inside is cooked. Yeah, these are pretty uh, toasty at the bottom. So what I'm going to do before I finish the meal I don't know, maybe I'll cut that part off. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. They don't taste burnt. But they're a little dark. That's alright. The insides are perfectly fine. Alright, so crisis averted. I just cut the bottoms off. I'm still doing that. I am like really tired. I've had a long day. And I believe my grandson is coming over. Because he's sleeping over. And tomorrow night we are going to my other son's house for his spooky walk. He decorates his yard and he has trails that he's made. And he's got all those big Halloween movable... Um, movable and smoke and and then my my daughter is going to have her friend go and they're dressing up and they're going to stand all along the trail and hand out candy to all the little ones so yeah I've been out all morning and uh, I'm just really exhausted plus I was up early because once again I didn't sleep all the way through the night. I think I got up about 4.30 this morning. Headed out, did some shopping. Wanted to finish up my Christmas gift card shopping. Wouldn't you believe it? I took about $700 and got all my gift cards done. I do that last. Okay, so all the meatballs are cut at the bottom so nobody can taste that burnt part. Alright, so first I'm going to take one tablespoon of butter. Oh, get a clean knife. And 
tablespoon of oil. Get that in a Dutch oven. Get that heated up. We're going to try to make a roux. I'm not that good at it. Definitely not that good at it. So, I'm going to get that heated up. Get my flour, which is two tablespoons of flour. We'll wait till that butter is all melted. In the meantime, I'm going to open my beef. You need beef broth. I'm going to use my beef stock that I did in 2020. These are my last two cans. Did them in September of 2020. Perfect. So we need two cups of that. One moment, please. Not quite two cups, but I'm just gonna fill it. It's only at one and a half, so I'm just gonna fill it with some water because I don't want to open this last jar just for a half a cup. So we'll stick that in there. Get this butter melting, and I will bring you back. All right, we are gonna add two tablespoons of flour. Cross your fingers, this works, guys. I never can make a good roux. And we're going to stir. Apparently it has to be equal parts dry and equal parts fat. parts because it's I'll just add a little more flour <laughs> you shall see people it's not be forming a paste get that turned down all right so now we're going to add two cups of beef broth we'll see what happens guys like I said I never can make a good thickened Right. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of ketchup. Oh, Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of that. Oh, where's my Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce! I'm not even measuring. That's how tired I am. I'm feeling like, you know what? If this don't come out, it don't come out. Salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to let that get thick. It smells good. Once it gets thick, we'll add the meatballs back in, and I'll bring you back. All right, so I ended up adding cornstarch, a cornstarch slurry, um, and it is now thickening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the meatballs into this to keep them warm. I'm going to turn that heat down. We're going to just add those meatballs right in there. Probably don't need that. Let me 
mix it all around and I'm gonna get the rice going. You know what would have been nice is some uh, sauteed onions in there, but I would have been the only one eating them. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep this warming. I'm gonna keep it, keep it low, you know, medium low and uh, let that warm while I get the rice going. All right, here is the meatloaf. Yum. I just got to drain out the, the grease. It looks good, smells delish, and I'm taking a bite of the meatball. Yum. Mm. Oh my God, that's good. I'm making some white rice to put over it. Well, no, to put under it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, those are good. Oh. I'm going to be honest. I've never had meatballs with gravy. I've only ever had it with spaghetti sauce. So I think once or twice I've had it with like a sweet sauce, that had a, like a company potluck or something where someone made like jelly meatballs or some kind of sweet meatballs but once i think i've always just had them with spaghetti sauce but this is really good really really good oh my god mm. so i'll be back when it's all done okay here's sierra's plate <laughs> Todd came back for seconds. He went in after he said he tried one bite of the meatball and said it was okay. Went into his room and then came back out and said, actually, it's really good. I'm going to have more. <laughs> so, all right. What do you think, Sierra? I haven't tried it yet. Take a bite of the meaty ball. She got her fuzzy bathrobe on. She loves this thing. I knew she would. That's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called Salisbury Steak Meatball. Hot though, it's hot. Mm. I warmed up some peas. I made rice in a pot. Usually I make it in my rice cooker and it actually came out okay. It came out better in the pot. Did it? I did boil over all over the stove, as you can see on the side of the pan, but I know now to turn the heat down after you put the lid on, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully Chris will like this. It's soft enough to chew, so I'm going to go eat now. All right, this is really good. This sauce is delish. The kids like it too. Oh my God, I will definitely make this again. Yum! This is delish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's delicious, guys. Try this recipe. Salisbury steak meat meatballs. I'll put the link in the description box as to where I got it. Yum. Lazarus home. He's trying my meaty balls. <laughs> <laughs> Salisbury steak meaty balls. Oh, and he took a piece of the meatloaf because he loves meatloaf. You need a bigger fork like a shovel? No. <laughs> I'm hungry, but not that hungry. How does it taste? Good. Is it sweet enough for you? <laughs> I'm I'm tired. I'm getting punchy. You know what that means? You getting punchy? I'm gonna get punchy. Yeah. Did you try the meatloaf? I did. Okay. He's giving it a thumbs up. Yay!